Hi guys, welcome back to Sweet Bay Lane. Or if you're new, welcome. I'm Tracy, and I'm so glad you stopped in to craft with us. Because the DIY project in this video was so much fun to make, I couldn't wait to share it with my crafting friends. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin the project, you'll need nine of these 1x2 wood slats from the Dollar Tree that measure 12 inches in length. We will then take six of the pieces and we will turn them into three pieces by gluing the two pieces together. And to do that, I'm going to be using this super glue wood glue from the Dollar Tree. Once our three pieces have dried, we then want to glue them end to end as I'm showing you here. And then once they have dried, we then want to add a little bit of strength to our wood pieces. And to do that, we're going to be using these wood slats from the Dollar Tree, and they measure 18 inches long. We just want to glue them right along the seam of those three glued boards. And like I said, it adds strength to the piece and it also adds a little bit of detail to our finished piece. Now that we have our slats glued down, we just need to weigh them down with something. You can use whatever you have around your house. I decided to blow the dust off my hand weights and use them and they worked out perfect. And once our wood slats have dried, we then come in, we flip over our wood piece, and we're going to glue those three remaining 1x2s on top of our wood piece. And weigh them down with the weight until they're dried. Okay, great. Once everything has dried, then you're going to come in and stain your piece. I'm going to be using my favorite Americana gel stain in walnut, but you can paint or stain whatever color you prefer. And once my stain dried, I then came in with this Rust-Oleum matte clear enamel just to give it a little extra protection coat. Okay, and we just set that aside to dry. Then we move on to our puck lights. Now, these puck lights I purchased at Walmart and they were a great deal. I love that they come with the batteries and their remote control. And once we have the batteries in our puck lights, we want to come in and prepare them for spray painting. And to do that, you'll just take some painter's tape and cover the light source, leaving the white trim exposed. Along with the puck lights, we're going to be painting these three wooden discs and two rolls of this metal ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And the spray paint we'll be using is this color shot in blackout. The matte finish on this spray paint is amazing. Okay, once our paint is dried, we then remove our painter's tape from the puck light and we move on to the next step of our project. And that's going to be working with these three adorable wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. This step is quite easy. What you want to do is we will take the 
round wooden disc and we'll put it right on the bottom of our basket in the center. And you'll do that for all three baskets as I'm showing you here. Then we're going to come in with some construction adhesive. We're going to apply that to the back side of our puck lights and then attach them to the inside of our baskets. And making sure to get enough adhesive so the puck light attaches to the wood disc on the bottom side of the basket. Once our puck lights have been attached, we set those aside to dry and we move on to this next step, which I actually thought was quite fun. It's working with that metal ribbon we got from the Dollar Tree and we spray painted it black. And all we're going to do here is we're just going to wrap the edge of our wood piece with the metal ribbon that we will attach with little dots of hot glue along the way. Now, as I'm showing you here, the ribbon was actually uh, four and a half feet long and our piece is only three feet long. So you're gonna have a little extra metal ribbon. Now, I didn't want the ends to meet on the front side of my piece, so I decided to cut the ribbon and end it right on the end of my project. Now that we have the metal ribbon wrapped completely around our piece, we then come in and we want to add some brad kind of nail effects to our piece. Now this is totally optional, you don't have to do this, but I just think it really looked pretty and finished the piece perfectly. And how I did that is we're going to come in with some, just some inexpensive Dollar Tree thumbtacks and we're going to spray them with that Color Shot Blackout spray paint. And believe it or not, they were very easy to push into the wood. I was a little worried and thought I might have to use a hammer, but I didn't. I was able to just push them in with my fingers. And I think the finished detail is perfect for this piece. Now I did every fifth design. You'll see there's a design on there. So I just counted five of the little flower designs and then I would put a thumbtack in. And we're moving on to our next step here and we're measuring finding the center of our piece. Now the center of this piece is pretty easy to find because it's 36 inches long and those wood slats were 18 inches each. So that pretty much is a giveaway that that's our center. And then we come in three and a half inches from the ends and make a little mark. We then bring back in our three wire baskets and we're just going to attach them with some construction adhesive as I'm showing you here. Make sure to get enough adhesive that it attaches, but not too much that it oozes out the sides. Now I let my piece dry overnight before I moved on to the next step in the project. And that's going to be adding these eyelet screws to the top side of our wood piece. Now I put them right above each of the end lights, just measuring in. It was about probably five and a quarter inches. And then I found the center and just screwed the eyelet screws in by hand. Okay, those look perfect. Now we're heading into the final stage of our project, 
And that's going to be adding a hanger of some sort to our eyelet screws. Now I chose to use these plant hangers from the Dollar Tree. I thought they were a perfect match for the barn dominium modern look that I'm going for with this piece. I'm going to be using just one strand. So removing the two strands was quite easy. You just bend out the little prongs on the chain link and you just pop them right off. But make sure you save them because you're going to need to measure where you want your light fixture to hang. Also what I love is they come with a hanger at the top and a clip at the bottom. So you make your chain as long as you would like and then you just use the clips to clip on to the eyelet screws. And here's the finished piece. I think it turned out great. I'm really excited to hang it on my back patio above a little table I have out there. I think the lights look so pretty too. Well, hang in to the end because I do have some footage of it at night above my table, if anyone's interested. Well, that wraps it up for this DIY project, and I think it's the perfect companion piece to the wall sconce we made last week. And I have to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers, or as I like to call you, my crafting friends, for your supportive comments and your brilliant ideas. I especially love Marie's when she suggested that we could use these for power outages. Isn't that brilliant? Thank you so much, Marie, for that suggestion. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so because we would love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. Well, until next week, happy crafting.